Season 6 of Superior Angling TV is brought to you by RJ Sport and Cycle and the rest of our fine sponsors. Let's see how deep we are here. There's fish down there too. School of herring or whitefish. 26 feet. That is what we want. That's a good depth. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Superior Angling. We are on the ice here in Bayfield, Wisconsin on Lake Superior and we're going to be chasing brown trout, splake, whitefish, kind of whatever the big lake wants to give us today, we will take. It is mid-January, usually we're not on this ice until late January, but it's been very cold lately, and this stuff kind of flash froze here, and we're sitting on a good five, six inches of ice right here. So um, again, as you guys saw, we're out here in the dark. I'm not an advocate of walking onto Lake Superior in the dark, but we've scouted this ice two days in a row, and before we had the cameras, we came out here and double checked it as well. So, um, and also when we got onto the edge of the shoreline, we stopped, we got our chisel, we put on our Eskimo jacket, and we have our bibs on to make sure we have full flotation or flotation assist in case we do uh, fall in, you can uh, definitely get a boost getting out of the water. But you, I cannot overemphasize using caution out here, but I'm very excited because we are on the ice on Lake Superior in mid-January. Usually you can be in for a pretty good bite. We're gonna set up the Eskimo outbreak. It is very cold this morning. Wind chills approaching negative 30. Kind of too cold to fish outside. So we're gonna set up the pop-up and uh, jig away inside and hopefully see some action before uh, too long. I like seeing bait on the graph. It's always a good sign, but at 26 feet, 27, that's a very, very good depth to start. We'll move around if needed, but hopefully we can sit here all day and pluck off some awesome fish. Stick with us, it's gonna be a good one. All right, the Eskimo is set up. It is nice and warm in here. We got the buddy heater going. We have our holes drilled, and now it's time to uh, get out some rods here. Busker's already got a bait down there, but on our graphs, there's hundreds of smelt below us, and we know that they're smelt because there's just the sheer number of them. There won't be whitefish or herring in, the, in those quantities. Like, it's even hard to see the bottom, just 20 feet of solid smelt below us, which uh, can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. We're gonna find out as the day goes on here, but. Let's get some rods out of our Eskimo case here. And I'm gonna be using the, this is a 38 inch eye razor. This is just kind of a go-to trout rod for me. Um, again, smaller trout, not big, big lake trout with big heavy lures. It is a 38 inch medium, extra fast rod. So, but I do like this because it has the real seat on there. Um, it's just a nice solid full cork handle. I just I like the way it feels. For baits, we're gonna unzip this here. We are going to be using, and we'll talk more about this a little bit later too, but um, just kind of bigger walleye spoons here from Northland. So like the macho minnow, the buckshot spoon, um, you know, kind of staying in those bright, like bright colors. Busker kind of likes a, a gold every now and then, but I kind of like that bright orange. I don't think you can go wrong. 
these fish out here when they want to eat i think you know a lot of times they're going to hit whatever you have down there um but I, I i like getting away with like a heavier macho minnow or a buckshot just because there is some current down there i do like to stay as vertical as possible so we're going to pick some lures out of there we're going to get some baits in the water we have minnows we might tip these with a the minnow head um, i don't think it's imperative but uh as Busker says, do you like bacon on your cheeseburger <laughs> right? or not? Now, you need a cheeseburger, <laughs> right. but bacon makes it a little bit better. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> so, so we'll probably tip these with a minnow head. And uh, yeah, we're starting to be daybreak outside, and hopefully we're going to see a few fish today. I am excited. It's always fun to get out here on Lake Superior. You never know what can happen. So um, yeah, we're going to get some Northland uh, spoons down in the water column and uh, see what happens. <music> shooting off bottom. I see that. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, he stopped. He must be stopped at you, Grant. There he is. He's still there at 20. There he is. Nice. That a boy. Not very big. That's all right. Dude, a perch. A perch. I don't think I ever caught a perch up this, <laughs> a perch, this high. <laughs> a perch in Bayfield that chased you off bottom like a truck. Yeah, that was crazy. Talk about an aggressive perch. Yeah, he, he smacked it pretty good. <laughs> That's wild. I've never caught a perch up here. We're out here filming a Bay Bayfield perch show on Lake yeah, Superior. Right. Unbelievable. Look at that. That's funny. Well, hey, it's a fish. Right? Yeah. We said we'll take whatever the big lake will give yeah, us. Right. The last thing I expected was a perch. Yeah, same here. Wow. <laughs> That's he funny. scared all the smelt off the screen, he too. He did. Just a little perch. He ruled the roost down there, man. That's, that's insane. That's wow. Funny. Well, I think our size is only going to go up for here, from here if we catch more fish. So right. hopefully, uh, hopefully bigger things are to come. But yeah, I don't know. We'll take it. Yeah, we will. <laughs> He's a bigger fish. Oh, he just bumped me. There's two of them, Grant. There, there we go, buddy. That's better. Yep. That That's fish better. came off bottom. Yeah, he did. Right at the hole, bud. <laughs> Look at that. That's a brown. Yep. Holy cow, it's he fired up, man. That's a nice fresh one there. <laughs> I just jumped Jeez. on the hole. <laughs> nice. Oh man. That one took a took a good run at it a couple times. That was wild. Uh, I think he finally bit like 10 feet underneath the ice. That's there. a good fish, buddy. Yeah, that's a very nice one. Nice silver one. He came off bottom. Yeah, and then he hit, finally hit at 10 feet there. It's like, we had a couple smaller ones coming up earlier and then we seen that this one was a lot bigger mark and, and he chased me all the way to 10 feet and finally hit it. And you can just tell the mark on our, on our MX-7s here was significantly right. different than what that perch looked like earlier. Right. I mean, it, I mean it, just the browns have square <laughs> tails, so they swim super, super fast. It is kind of rare though for a brown trout to come off bottom like he did. Right. Usually your browns out here come in suspended. Yep. That's a nice fish, man. Yeah, that is. It's a very nice one. You keeping him? Or yep, him that will be a good one to keep. It's a good one to keep, yeah. Yep. Awesome. Nice. aggressive on that one that's a nice spike got him yeah buddy got him right under the ice <laughs> he's right here that is so cool man oh look at this fish <laughs> right at the hole <sighs> come on look at that and that there is a big lake superior splake that's a nice fish that's a that's well into the 20 inch range. That's a very good fish. We're going to keep him for dinner. What a fish. <laughs> it's so cool seeing these things come up off bottom. They chase you right up under the ice. It hits you right at the hole. I mean, it's just mind blowing. That just shows a clear water out here. And these fish are just, <laughs> they travel fast and they are aggressive when they want to eat. That's trout for you. Brown, whether it's a brown trout, a splake, a lake trout, they all act very similar. That's an awesome fish on the gold coffin spoon. You can't beat it, man. Sweet.
Big Brown. I got him. I got him. I got him. Big Brown. Big Brown. Big Brown. Big Brown. Big Brown. Big Brown. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oscar. That's awesome. Oh, my heart just stopped. Oh, Oscar, it's a big one. It's a big one. You've seen it, right? You've seen him eat. I saw him eat. I saw him eat. Stuff you could water. tell it was a brown when it came in on the MX-7. Like the mark was just significant. And you could see his tail. It's a big, dark brown. Holy cow, man. My heart is racing a million miles an hour right now. To see that fish come and eat you like that, just visually is just like mind blown. And this eye razor rod is just, this is why I like a rod at the full cork handle and the real seat for situations like this where you got your hands full <laughs> and we do right now man there he is that's but, one of those nice germans but you have enough backbone to set the hook and this is on that gold coffin spoon from northland and i have confidence in it man especially in the hooks look like a big hook jaw one right nice this nail is a fun fish this is a big fish oh look at that this is a big fish oh Holy cow. Oh, 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 oh my buddy. goodness. Oh, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, is that Ooh, pretty? that's pretty. Is oh, that pretty? Oh, 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 oh. Is that pretty? That's gorgeous. Ooh, nice ice crack right there. <laughs> Come on, buddy. See, this is crunch time right here, man. You gotta have a little luck on your side as well. You gotta have a little luck on your side to get a fish like this in. Hey, you can't really horse them. You just gotta cut them and let them do what they do. I know, I know. When you drive all this away, what's the point of horsing it? Right. Oh, he's underneath my hole here. Here we go, here we go. Move. Look at that square tail. <laughs> <laughs> baby i wish mine fought like this right. mine came yeah right yours up. came in quick <laughs> this is about the funnest fight i think you can have in fresh water through the ice like this is even next level to a lake trout because browns have a square tail and they just do not give up and they're so pretty look That's... at that fish holy cow busker i can't grab them like that bud <laughs> <That's> madness <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. That's awesome, bud. <laughs> you guys got to see this fish. You have to see this fish. Look at this fish, man. How pretty is that? It does not get any more fun than that out here on Lake Superior. And look at, <laughs> barely hooked, the gold coffin spoon from Northland gets a beautiful golden brown trout out here on Lake Superior, big hook jaw on it. I mean, that's a that's an awesome looking buck there, man. The fight, I mean, just the whole experience of this, the clear water, this how fast and aggressive these fish are. It just, it's second to none. It's truly second to none. And we are so fortunate and lucky to be out here and catch a fish of this caliber. That's a special, that's a special fish. Beautiful. Let's get her back. Man, what a fish. I'm gonna remember that one for the rest of the winter. I mean, that just got my heart going and that's exactly what we came out here for. Big, beautiful brown trout. It's fun to watch a fish like that swim away even though that was a stocked one. I mean, they're just so pretty and they put up such a battle. You gotta pay your, pay your respects to a few of those fish. But, you know, this is that coffin spoon from Northland. I switched up from a bright color to a gold. Busker got a couple fish right away on gold, so we changed it up and that brown did not hesitate at all. Now, one thing about these coffin Coffin spoons is they're dense. They stay vertical in this pretty significant current out here, which is good. So you graph them on your on your mark them. They can you know you can see your bait a lot better. Um, number two, north and tackle. You know on the buckshot spoons, the coffin spoons, the macho minnows, great great hooks. They're they're big hooks. I, I feel like they might be a they're a little bit oversized, which is ideal. It's exactly what we want. They don't bend. They can handle a fish like that, which was six seven pounds. I mean. And those fish are powerful with their square tail. So you really need a solid hook 
and you know these stock hooks with with North and tackle are, are very good I you know I have the trust and the confidence that uh, a fish like that is gonna stay pinned once it hits so we're gonna get this rebated and back down there oh Ooh, right on me fish, fish, oh fish, fish, nice fish 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 there's oh, a school of coho oh, salmon. Got him. <laughs> Look at that. That is a Lake Superior coho There's salmon. There's a bunch of them down there. I can't believe it. It's a Ooh, coho. You see is. him? Yep. Shoot down the hole. Got, got him, him on him. a rip and wrap. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. There's another one down there. I can't get mine on hook. Is Both there really? There's another spoon down there. This is crazy. Oh, yeah. He's coming to you, Grant. Ear hole. Is he? Yep. Where is he? He went for my minnow head falling. Oh, he's going after you. Oh, he missed it. Oh, there's a bunch of them down there. Where are they? Oh, They're right oh. under the hole. Holy cow, he just went after me. Took them all low. Holy cow, look at that, man. Busky, hold on. Oh, yeah, it's your bait down yeah. there. I was like, they're coming back. I had to drop my other one down. That happened so fast. Look at these. We double up on Lake Superior coho salmon. That's sweet. How fun is that? That's awesome. Things happen so <laughs> fast out here, man. Like, so fast. And these things, literally, it reminds me of like a yellowfin tuna in the salt water, just darting left and right. And they just travel in schools and they're constantly just swimming around at, you know, very high speeds looking for prey. So you gotta be ready when these guys come in. Yeah. This is candy. Man, I mean, we had like eight of them there circling us. That was crazy. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And they just move so fast. It is so cool to see. But this is the first time I've ever seen these up this far north out of Bayfield, Wisconsin. Usually you see these more south by like Washburn or Long Island area, but seeing these up by up by Bayfield here is pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a bonus. bonus. It bonus. is. Hey, that's four species <laughs> right. of fish today. <laughs> that's awesome. In like two or three hours. And we just need a giant walleye. <laughs> right? Isn't that cool, huh? Yeah. I love it. That's awesome. You just never know what you're gonna catch out here on Lake Superior. This is fun. Racing up. There we go, fish up. Man, that one came just shooting off bottom. Had another one follow it up too. But this one was a bigger mark and you smoked that spoon. This one feels a little heavier, like a brown. He's changing directions. I don't think this one's a splake. If it is, it's a very big one. Wow. He's, he's putting up a good fight here. There he goes. <laughs> Doing a big run there. Oh man. Just hugging bottom there. Look at that, there's one following it. Nice bend in that sink right there. We go. Brown. You see him? Yep. Nice. Come on, buddy. Reel down one more time. There we go. Heck yeah, another brown. That's sweet. Look at that one. There was two on the graph there, and then the other one was following them up as I was reeling this one up. That's sweet. That's what we're out here for. These browns, and this one's a pretty good colored one. Got a kipe jaw there, so that's a, another buck. Sweet. That's what we made the ride for, right there. Look at this fish. This is so cool, man. <laughs> He's not ready yet. He's not ready yet. Look at that fish. That is truly something special. All right, let's get this coffin spoon out of its mouth. And we're gonna get this fish back on its way. Again, a natural 
reproducing fish. We can see it's got its fin up here. And well, again, these are not native to Lake Superior, but this is a, a fish that was, uh, you know, brought up via natural reproduction. What a beautiful fish. We're gonna send that back on its way. That is just, it's just too pretty, man. These fish are just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Back down there, you can't beat it. Lake Superior, brown trout. I mean, that's, that's high on my list for cool things to do through the ice. Out here on Bayfield, I mean, brown trout are kind of your primary, that's, that's, that's kind of the best thing that you can catch is a big brown. And what's a big brown trout? I would say, you know, a 25 inch brown is probably comparable to like a, you know, 26, 27 inch walleye. I mean, it's, it's a good fish, it's a big fish. Brown trout get upwards of 35, 36 inches, but the majority of them are in that kind of maybe 19 to 23 inch range. We've been fortunate to see quite a few fish, 25, 26 inches today, which is, which is very fun. Along with brown trout, you have splake. Splake are stocked by the Wisconsin DNR. They're a mix, they're a, they're a breed between a, a brook trout and a lake trout. They have a little bit more of a square tail. Delicious table fare, very, very abundant out here, especially in shallower water. Other species, you have whitefish, you have herring, you have smelt. Um, surprisingly, a couple of perch here today. So those are just kind of everything that you can catch out here in Bayfield, Wisconsin. So again, this is kind of bigger water out here. You really got to use caution. Make sure you have good ice because out in front of us here is big water. That's the Apostle Islands and the Lake Superior goes forever beyond there. So you got to be safe, but when you can get here, it's usually pretty good fishing. All right, an action-packed day that we've had out here on Lake Superior. It's only one o'clock, but we have caught plenty of fish. We are more than satisfied with our, with our day on the ice here. From brown trout, to splake, to perch, to coho, we've caught four different species out here on the ice today all before one o'clock like it's been an action-packed day we cannot be uh, any more happy with how we did some very beautiful brown trout you know seeing it, uh, when you get them up into that 25 26 inch range like those are trophy caliber fish that are a lot of fun to catch and to battle these fish with this clear ice to see them right down there it's just so vivid and such a cool experience i loved getting out here on lake superior any chance we get thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time we would like to thank you for watching this episode of Superior Angling TV. You can catch us every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. You can also join us on social media for weekly contests, behind the scenes photos, videos, and much more. Also, don't forget, check out superiorangling.com to shop our new apparel available now.